Chilling at the sun laboratory. of sensitivity training. This is where we, or I, I'm training you actually. I feel like I'm training you. No. No? Anyway, anyway, so this is, I'm Diana, this is Dave, and we have a guest. What's up? This What's is, up? This is Jay. And welcome to all the new viewers. His brain and well, yes, actually, yeah. you know, we might have to have you on more often, but don't talk yet. All right. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, I'm just trying to introduce you. <coughs> so Jay's on the show tonight because he's your friend, yeah. right? And best friend. I, really? Yeah, we your just BFS? have differing. We have differing views. Yeah. So so so, so <laughs> Jay and Dave well, that, so what have different our... po political views, and apparently Jay has. You have a little bit of a drinking problem, honey. No. <laughs> no. No. I, I came up here to party, though. Tonight. You came up here to party. Now, now four. is that my corona? You want one? Uh, yeah. I mean, usually, usually. Dave? Let me, let me help you. No. So, okay. so we, because the name of the show is sensitivity training, normally, honey, what you do is you, you ask the woman. I'm sorry. Since I'm the only woman here, you say, would you like something? And then you, you offer. I'm and, sorry. I'm very impolite. Okay, that's like, okay. And then when we leave the studio, I'll show you how to open the door for a woman, too. Okay. Oh, look at that. Good job. Okay, thank you. Oh, Cheers. Oh, oh. Get <laughs> I'm gonna do something perverted. Anyway. Not the first time. Very good, very good. Okay. So they have different watch it, different political views. Now let me ask you a question. Yeah. Does he does he irk you with his political view? So he's a Trump, so Jay's a Trump supporter, as you can tell. Honey, why don't you straighten that out a little? There you go, so everybody can see that, honey. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Make America great again. Okay, so he, he's really, you're behaving because you haven't said anything I since I told you not to talk. <laughs> okay, so we're going we're gonna to start with Jay, okay? Because you're... Uh, Maybe should he tell us a little yeah, about himself? Yeah, so, but, but you're a little upset because he's a Trump supporter. Um, yes or no? Yeah, well, certain things. It's only things. a 27 minute show. Yeah, yes certain things. Okay, so yes, okay. So... Tell us about yourself before you get to the Trump part. What, what tell do I me, know? Um, you I'm said a, that you have a you have a bachelor's degree, and what's that in? Business management. Oh, business management. Yep. There you go. I don't there actually use it. You don't use it because are I'm you working? I'm actually a real estate developer. Oh, okay. I oh, work for look at you. Yep. Look at you. So that's what you and Trump have that in common. Yeah, to a small. I'm more residential. Okay, but is your is, was your father or is your father a billionaire? No. Okay. I haven't spoke to my father in over a decade. Okay, that's a so, different show, honey. We'll talk yeah. about that. <laughs> so I, you know, everything I kind of did was for my, for myself. For yourself. Okay, so you're yeah. a self-made man. Self-made, yes. We'll leave the man? last part blank. Not a man. 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 Yes. If when you go to the men, when you go to the bathroom. Yes, I use the men's room. Do you go? Okay, that's what I want Usually, to know. unless there's a shorter that, wait at the women's and I I'll still. Okay, that. that's what I was driving. Right. There's never a shorter wait at the ladies' room. Not usually. Okay, there ne never is. Okay, so. You, you're a real estate developer. I am. Okay, where do you live? What town? I live in Rentham, Massachusetts. Oh wow, that's a hike, honey. Me and Dave grew up in the same town, same, oh. in that same vicinity. Okay. So that's how we know each other. We actually grew up playing basketball together. Ha you kids. play basketball? Middle oh. school. He's a pretty good school. football, flag football player. That's right. the only plug you're gonna get. Um, <laughs> okay, so now tell us why you like Trump. So. And I made you something. So keep you? talking. Yeah, All you right. keep talking. So yeah, my biggest you thing, you know, I wasn't really big into politics up until the past so two or three you. years. Okay. Getting a little bit older. You know, I figured this was going to affect my life on a daily basis. Okay. A little bit. How old are you? 32. 32. You look younger. Yeah. But anyway. That's what my mom tells me. Anyway, yeah. Okay, you look younger. Okay, so. So, you know, my biggest thing, and I know you guys have touched upon this on previous shows, is the political correctness that this country is. It's driving me nuts. These millennials, liberal, hipster kids. You know you're in Cambridge, right? Yeah. The People's Republic? Yeah, exactly. Sanctuary City? Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to get that in there. I can't stand it. 
Well, Keep that's kind of where the it. show started because of all the college protests. Yeah. Yes, that's how it started. It. So you can't take it. No, because all these liberal, like, hippie pussies, I like to call them. You know who said that word on TV? Yes, I do. Who was it? Quick, quick. He's a, he's a general <laughs> sergeant. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I can't Ralph look. Peters. Yes, you're there right. There you go. Okay, so Ralph. So, anyways, Peters. and he, you know, he was suspended for a couple weeks for saying yep. that. I don't think I'm going to be suspended. No, no, honey, you can say it's anything a on this deal. show. So I can't stand it. You know what my biggest thing? I can't even figure out what like these lo- like even like these kids from Harvard down the street. Only thing I can really think of, of why they're so liberal and such pussies is. They never that, had to work. That. And I think they're breastfed until like they're like ten years old. They probably were. That's honey. the only thing I can think of. I got no other explanation. White guilt. I don't He's understand fine. it. I don't understand the white guilt. I Angela really... Merkel. She has white guilt. Yep. She's That's... destroying Germany, by the way, for Apparently all. Apparently, Elizabeth don't know. Warren does too. Elizabeth Warren. You know <laughs> all what? Right, they... but let's talk about Trump. Okay, yeah. so we're talking about Trump. So, you, so what do you like about Trump? So, did you like your poster? Did you see what I made you, honey? Did you want to zoom into this? So. Oh, we can't do that. You see this? Yeah, I'm gonna show you what I was actually planning on wearing tonight. This is what I generally wear, but it's a little chilly out tonight. This is my usual attire. Okay, so here, we can get this up there, down. <laughs> yeah, but it's a little cold tonight, and um, I also... Uh, the weather outside is frightful. It is. Exactly. It's, it's actually snowing as we speak. And I also, um, I didn't want to get Dave too excited and, you know, sticking his... Honey, that says rump. My thighs. Oh, that yeah. says rump. Trump. I wear this to the, this is my beach. That's the microphone, but that's all right. That'll work. That'll right. work. Okay, so you like Trump. You're going to vote do. for Trump. I am. You're gonna, so even though, yeah. e- e- even though we have said derogatory, supposedly, things about Mexicans, about Muslims. Muslims. I disagree. So a lot of people call Trump a racist, and I don't know one thing he said is racist. Well, he doesn't want to let... Muslims in or a temporary. Te- temporary. But wait, 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 until, wait, 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 until I, we get everything under control. Okay, but let's get let's well, that. But but that's what. But no, you can't talk to. Do me. you have a gun? No. Do you have a gun? I, I'm actually a convicted felon, so I can't carry a gun. <laughs> I, okay, that's good to know. I wish I had known that before. In all reality. But, but answer the question: Do you have one though? No. 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 Not so, with me. But, but, Not with me. But this right, is a so, good point because all of you people out there in Cambridge who are watching this and you're watching CNN if you have cable or you're watching Channel Five, Channel Seven. What's the other one? Channel 4, right? Channel 69. Channel 69. If you're watching that, it's the same thing, right? They show a blip. They don't show the whole thing, which is what he said was, right? Let's put a temporary halt until we can figure out what's going on. You see what's going on in Germany right now with all the refugees coming over there, the, the rapes of women. Right, the... did you hear? So I read something I read something in the news that basically there was somebody, I think it was on Facebook, and then you click onto the news, and somebody said something like, well, that's happening here. And I'm like, what planet are you on? Yeah. Like, I, I don't know what planet Although you're on. Although we saw what happened in Brooklyn the last couple of yes. years. Yes, yes. Before, and that's, that's ridiculous, but yes. that's not a commonplace event in, so in our country. So for those of you who might not know, a, 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 which one are we talking about? The Philadelphia one where no, the pop got and, shot and in Brooklyn the No, in Brooklyn where the five guys raped the girl and held yes. the father at gunpoint yes. and told him to get out of there. Yes. Germany, what's going on is all refugees. Those are American citizens that I guess four out of five supposedly have been arrested. So they're going to get better lawyers, right? Yeah, they're going to be free. Yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of the Harvard lawyers doing pro bono work. Exactly. They're going to go represent they're, them. They're so what is you're training. saying you agree with the ban, temporary ban on letting Muslims into the country. Yeah. But so I guess um, the reason why I brought up- And why don't you agree? The guns is because, so like, I, I don't want to talk about guns. I, I don't think there's any way. You don't want to talk about guns? Yeah, I'm not going to argue for or against gun control or anything, but what is one argument is that like, you know, there are a hundred million guns out there and a few people use them for the wrong reasons or something. So like, um, can you like go against the First Amendment because a certain percentage of Muslim people? Is the gun one the Second Amendment? Yeah. Okay, just check it. What? I said, is the gun one the Second Amendment? Yeah. So, <laughs> so, or can we talk about the First Amendment about <laughs> the freedom of religion and all that stuff? Freedom of speech, you mean? Yeah. Well, it's all that. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. So, what, what, what are you trying to say? 
So you're saying you're discriminating against the religion. So let's just. And, wait, and I agree. So like the PC people may say like, you know, I I think that I think that all religions have a problem, um, but I don't think the leader of a country like the United States can discriminate against a religion. So how come Japan can do it? I don't know, but they're not the United States. Why? What do they do? Right, they but, but, but he didn't say... Zero terrorist ever in the history he, of that country. They just yes, don't let they Muslims have, they in. they don't let them in, and they don't have any terrorist attacks. But the point is, all he's saying is, let's figure out what's going on. And what he meant, I think, but who knows, I'll find out when I start volunteering for a Trump campaign on Friday. What I think he meant is, they have to look at the visa program, right? Because the visa program is a mess. It's a disaster, right? They have to look at border security, so that's what he's talking about. He, I, I don't think he just meant specifically that. He meant like we have to look at this, and we have. I mean, how can you just? How can you just? Here's my question. A anybody out there in Cambridge, this is what I want to know. Do you lock your front door? Do you lock? Do you lock your front door? You live yeah. in Rentham. There's like twelve shit. people. Do you lock your front door? Do you lock your car door? Yeah. So we should be locking our door. We should be locking our door. We do. You know what? That's a great point. What, what's the point? The, the point is, we need like border security. We need to lock our doors. We need to figure out what's going on. Just because you're having a bad day in your country, you can't just come here. You can't. Yeah, so you're saying let's enforce laws? Yeah. Okay, let's not discriminate against religion. No. But, 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 Muslim, is Muslim the same thing as, I guess, I was gonna say is is Islam, right? So are you practicing? Like, do all Muslims practice? All Catholics don't practice. No, but there's all no Jews other. There's practice. no other. One particular group from one particular religion, claiming war against the free world, other than them. Right. So we need right. to look at them a little closer than we do from people coming over here from England. Yes. From Italy, because you no, know, those people are saying, "Oh, let's go here and commit jihad and kill innocent people," because. We don't like the way that they live. Honestly, it's not their business. And but they I think, think it is their business. No. And you know what I think about them? They're a bunch of pussies. That's his favorite word. It is. Because there are other words he was told he couldn't say. So now he's going to just rely on the P word. Yeah. <laughs> but they are. This is actually what really frustrates me, But too. what do you do when somebody has beliefs like that? They, that's, Honestly, what they, that's what they believe. That, it, Listen, it, do, you, do you eat meat? I do. Are you vegetarian? No. Okay, but some people are vegan. And I they understand. don't believe in, I know, in but that's animals. Not, but that's not, they're not a threat to our society. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is, like, what do you do when somebody believes something and you can't change They can belief? believe it, but when it becomes, and that kind of gets to the whole like, Guantanamo situation with, and that's what I, one of the, my biggest pet peeves with Obama, you're letting people who want to kill Americans, innocent Americans, have done nothing wrong just because they believe in and the freedom and the way we live in our culture has no effect on what's going on in the Middle East yet. Oh, right, right. Yet. But, but he promised that. He said he was going to close Guantanamo. Yeah. It doesn't matter that 30 to 40 percent of those guys I don't have a go back to the battlefield. Yeah. I have no problem closing that, but don't let those guys go. Put them in American prisons. No, but the people. reason they don't want to put them in American prisons, which I think this point is valid, because then people will bomb the prisons around those areas where they, they are. I'm perfectly fine with Guantanamo. I am too. I'm perfectly but fine. I know the cost is pretty outrageous to keep it open. So if they want to save the cost. I don't think he wants to save the cost. I no. don't think he gives a it's shit a about the cost. It's a political agenda. It's a political agenda. Exactly. So it doesn't matter. It's nonsense. So what do you want to say? You have this book here. It says, where all the anger, hate, hater, he's not a hater. No. No. Yes. Yeah, so, so actually I saw him on Face the Nation. He gave an interview on Sunday. And yeah, the problem is like, I agree with you know, I like that he's anti-PC. It says he's uh, stymied the effect of Citizens United. You, were you telling me I'm how listening to you. he I'm, doesn't I'm spend any, and like he doesn't have to spend any money because no. he just he's starting so to finally no, now in he, New Hampshire and yes, he had, Iowa, the key he, states for right, to get the GOP he, nomination. He but, had only spent about two hundred thousand up until like two weeks ago, right when he had that wonderful Hillary. I'm I'm, I'm looking at my bag of tricks. Quick question. I know, I know Dave. You don't. You're not a big uh, Trump guy. Are you? Do you like Hillary? Um, I actually. Well, yeah, probably. But well, I haven't watched 
you know, because they have the debates on like Saturdays and I record them, but I haven't gone back and watched them. So what them, do you so like about her? No, I just, I know a lot about the Republicans right now. And actually like, yeah, so. Why don't you focus on your own team and mind I your own business? A, because I want to. Why don't you just mind your own business? Because I'm not closed minded. I like, like I kind of <laughs> like Rubio. I think you guys, is, I'm no, trying to get people. No, we don't want Rubio. Yeah. Nah. For, I don't, I don't want he's business as usual. Yeah. Him and Hillary yeah. are very similar. Yes. Even though they're in different parties. They're almost one and the same. They have Are you a couple. calling her a man? Um, so you sucks. like you like extremes? No, I, I, no, yeah, I like somebody who change, cuts to the chase, wants you know, to get the job done. I can't stand Bernie Sanders' political views, but I think he actually wants to make a change, and I think he's got. I think his heart's in the right place. I just think he's a complete fucking idiot. But he's um, he, he's he wants to make a change. He's not bought, but. Hillary's he wants much, to make a change. He's a socialist. Yeah, exactly. I mean, come here. Give I me a break. And he's got zero clue. Free, free stuff for everybody. Exactly. Yeah, leave your doors unlocked. Everybody, unlock your yeah. doors. He's got basic. Yours is, is mine. Says? Mine is yours. Much. It's pretty much the thing. Like, he's got no got, clue. Basic. Economics. You have, if you have a thousand dollars and I have five, let's right? Split, let's split. Let's just take five hundred no, apiece. I, yeah. I don't think. Yes, yeah, this is what I think about let's you. Let's share money. But yeah, honey, I think you have a screw loose. Okay, but. Wait, so the idea that his words have co consequences never penetrates. And so I've said Trace, to you... Said you said penetration? <laughs> yes. <laughs> These are your Trump folks, everybody. But so... Feed into a stereotype. Trump, Trump, Trump this. Yes. Hi, Dad, if you're Wait, watching. So the point is that, um, like, I've, I've said to you that since Trump has come about, your view... Like, it seems like he's enabling people... To be bigots and like you call me a bigot? Yes. <laughs> the stuff you've said, you've been like what emboldened. Have I said? Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is what I find interesting, and this is to your point about being politically correct. Yeah. And this is going to the First Amendment. Okay, not the second one, but the first. Let me help you out here. <laughs> That's the problem. We can't say anything. I can't say I don't like something. Because now I'm a bigot. I'm a bigot. I'm a racist. I'm homophobic. I'm Islamophobic. I'm this phobic. That's the issue. And that's what. Why can't I have an opinion? Yeah, you can, but. But why am it's I a bigot? A bigoted opinion. Why is it bigoted? So liberals, this is my biggest thing. You, you guys saw how how Trump's headquarters in Massachusetts got spray painted the other day. I did not know that. From Rhode right. Island or something. Yeah. No, the one in Mass, out in uh, Littleton. Littleton, Mass. So it was spray painted. And I saw a funny quote, and it's pretty true. Liberals are very supposedly open-minded and diverse and this and that, but if you disagree with them, you're a racist. You're a racist, you're, you're bigot. bigot. Exactly. Why am I bigot? So, well, they're both... Both parties both are, are but Republicans have never claimed to be this open-minded... Hey, I'm sorry, I just, I, I'm just digressing. I have an idea. No, 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 no. This is perfect. Bernie's in the, in the, um, in the room on the side. Bernie's a hypnotist. He's still Why don't oh, oh, that you oh. to be a Republican? No. Why not? Wait, but... <laughs> so... Wait, 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 I'm sorry, here, go back to your notes. So you were always talking about, like, team building and stuff like yes. that. Yes. Is there more, like, divisive figure than Donald Trump? I don't find him divisive. You know why? Let me tell you why. Because he says... As long as the minorities stay away no, and the white because... people can come together? No, because here's what he does. He said, His spokesperson, Katrina, she's black. She's black. Yeah, That's his I don't spokesperson. Like the, no, he likes Ben Carson, and I then like he ben says Carson all of this too. like horrible shit about black people. Like, no. just because, <laughs> just because you, just because somebody has a black person around doesn't mean that. I you like, know. you know, why I like Trump. This is if I were president. This is what. This is all I would do. I would. I would. Do, no. These. This is all we need. This is all the country needs. They need two things: no and a spanking. Get rid of minorities. No. Get rid of criminals. Why is that? Yeah, well, get rid, get rid of, of, of all the terrorists of... running around with their so you want to keep... turbans on. That's, honey, the turban ones, those are sh Sikhs, I think, honey. Yeah. They're not, they're Sikhs. But anyways, um, I'm, just, I'm just helping. And then let's keep the poor people making so little you're, money. Okay, so you're going to tell me. And you can say that they don't work hard enough, but you're... some of them work two jobs and are struggling, and then the CEOs can make all this money, this... and they remain do this. uneducated. Do this. And... this do, do this. I want you to do this. Right? Here's the thing. If you enable people and you give them everything, right? 
You give them everything. They, you're gonna. They're gonna Wait, lose their drive. Wait, can we talk about drive. specifics? Let's talk about specifics. Food stamps under Obama. All right, who do you know? Talk who about somebody know? you know. Yeah, because I know poor people. Yeah. Okay. So let me ask you this question. I don't know any poor people. Do you have <laughs> yeah, health so, insurance? Yes. How much do you pay for your health insurance? More now than I did two years ago. How much? To my wife's company. Can you just cut to the chase? Then? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know. I know, it, but it's gone up because it, she's part of a nurses' union. Okay. And our deductible and how much you take out of a weekly paycheck has gone up in the past couple of years. Okay. Obamacare you know, is a joke. Do you know how much mine is? Eight hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, because a month. you choose to because you want to go see. Because the I choose to because to. because if I go and do the health connector or the Obamacare, you can't you see, can't see yeah, certain so you have to doctors. Pay more. Yeah. And that's okay? Yes. So, okay, so then let's open the borders and let all these millions of people come in. Wait, if I want a really nice lawyer, if I kill you guys tonight and I want a high-priced lawyer, should I be entitled to him without paying the high price? No, you should pay for it. Yeah, so if you want something better, you have to pay for it. Are you really? Okay, but so so that, okay, I get that premise. You said but you could have gotten something lesser, I but you wanted to see the doctors you wanted, so you... Obamacare well, is a disaster. It is a disaster. It's going to get repealed no matter but, who gets but elected. But let me ask you a question, though. So so let's let all these people come in. Let all refugees come in. We Let them all come Specifics. into the country. Specifics! Can I tell what a personal story? Yeah. I worked, so you know, like all these people are on government assistance, and that's, what is it, like 90% of the country, 100%? <laughs> it's gone up since it's Obama's gone up. been in office. Right. In the so last anyways, year, food stamps have gone up. So when I worked at Kinko's, I won't say his name or anything, but I worked with a guy, he was married with three kids, and he worked two jobs, and so me, I'm this. You know, bragging little. I shit. like the sweater by the way. <laughs> nice sweater. So, like, he would come in late because he was like the second shift. Yeah, yeah, and so I'd be like, oh, what the fuck? I have to stay late, you know, and stuff. Yeah. But the thing is, it's like, no. Oh, he's he... a pussy. What? You call him a pussy. Yeah. Oh, God. So he was a pussy because. Uh, yeah, just because he, he, th- just cause he has he a family a, and kids he and two jobs, what, he can't come in on time. But anyways, what's wrong with the pussy? So he'd be working at a Seriously, hotel all night. You're saying it's so derogatory. I'm offended. But the thing is, like, what if he was on I'm offended, honey. government assistance? What if he got some assistance because he, the wage he was earning working two jobs wasn't enough to provide for his family? Meanwhile, you have the income inequality. I wish I had it right in front of me, the numbers of the... CEOs times the average worker from 1990 to 2000 to 2010. It's like gone up 300. It was 70 to 1. Now it's 300 to right, 1. Right, so what's your point though? So you're going to sit on your ass and watch Jerry Springer? I'm saying... I mean, come on. He, the man, I, I'm using a... That's my reference. It's not like... Oh, poor people are bad because they get stuff from the Who's government. Right? Because I want has, specifics. But, but here's the, the right. thing: you, nobody is saying poor people are mad are bad. The thing is, you're saying we're enabling them because what they I'm just saying sit is around. And, President and Obama. That's true. There are some, but there are some that work really hard. And there's white people that fall in, into I'm, that. I'm group. not even talking about any, any race. Minority. And the Republicans well, what I'm are saying is that interests. the Democrats. Hey, you guys aren't rich enough to be Republicans. The Democrats. Right? You don't right? know my financial state. The, the Democrats like to keep people in, they like to make, make give things to people so that they'll vote for them show? because they don't want people, yeah, they don't maybe. want people to rise up. They don't. Wait, who are the role again? Okay. Anybody. The, in the, yeah. Let's the, say the, the 19, political people. Let's oh, say in the no. 1920s when, 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 people. when people, white no, men. when people were coming over from other and countries, immigrants, me. shut up. <laughs> people were coming over from other countries. It's, let's just say the 20s, the 30s. The 1910s, okay? They would come over, and what did they do? Is that when you were born? They, I'm going to slap you. <laughs> they, I was born in the 30s. They learned the language. You thought you were going to their side. 50s, they, 50s. They learned the language, right? Yeah. Right? It, they were proud to be part of the team. Yeah, and they're hard They workers. learned the language. They came over with skills. They were masons or, you know, carpenters or whatever, right? And they, they added to the... To the society. to the country. Yeah, they want to contribute right? to society. Yeah. That's what they did. And Marco I don't know if Rubio's it was like the fifties or the sixties. All of a sudden, you come over. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Why does anybody want to work? No. Wait, That's what? It. They they weren't giving benefits out to people 
in the first part of last century. They weren't? No. People came over and they did their thing. You know who, you know who really decided to do that? LBJ. It was LBJ. And you know what he said? You knew what quote he said. What? Yeah, I... Yeah, are you going to say it? Because... It's a little racist. <laughs> And yeah, it's not, this is oh, not no, my no, thing. Right. That's yeah, what he said. So this is Democrats Should in general. Should we hammer this in your head? <laughs> they want to buy votes. At the time, they used the derogatory word for a black person. And you used it on Facebook. I did, but I started out, so that's okay. I don't like those words. So, so he, but this is not my opinion. I guess. Yeah, this is what he said. I said it. But this is what he you said. He said he was right. He no, no, he was no. Right. But he got he got a lot of black votes. He said they'll have the black people voting Democratic for the next 200 years if you give them a little something. <laughs> Right, what, and, like, and what he did. So what on he Facebook, did. you said, yeah, your boy LBJ had it right after all these years. No, but what, but what ended up happening is, is, it, is it brought that population down. It does. That's what it did. And, and, and that's what Obama should should have been doing instead uh, of sure, we don't instead know. of doing an executive order about Black to, Lives change, Matter and to how... change the freaking name of a mountain. I'll come back McKinley. next week. You, yeah. You want me back? Yeah, because yeah, so it goes too fast. Wait a minute. You, honey, you don't have any time. Thank you for watching. Come back next week for part two. I guess I'll be back. Okay, he's going to bring If I don't get arrested on the way out.